So in today's episode of Will It WLED, I'll go over the easiest way to convert Govi's new permanent outdoor lights, the Prism, to WLED, and then I'll demo it on my full house install to see how it looks. First off, I'll be using the same power supply that the 150 foot kit came with, which is 36 volts and 2.3 amps. Now to make this as easy as possible to switch back and forth between the Govi and WLED software, we can take the Govi controller that it comes with and plug that into the power supply just like you'd be doing on a normal setup. Next, take one of the input splice pieces that the kit comes with, unscrew the top part, and plug that into the wire coming off the controller like I'm doing here. Then you'll use one of the output splice pieces which has the female connector, and that can get plugged into the beginning part of our lights. From here, I'm going to cut a total of four small sections of 18 gauge silicone wires, two white which will represent ground, one green for data, and one red for voltage. So to better explain what's going on, I'll grab the splice piece connected to the controller. Here the red opening is voltage, the blue opening is ground, and yellow, which we won't be using, is data, because that's what would be carrying the Govi software. After stripping back all the wires, I'll insert my red voltage line into the red opening on the splice kit that I just unplugged from the controller. Then I'll take my two white ground wires, twist them together, and those will go into the blue ground opening. Now on the splice kit that's connected to our lights, I'll attach the green data wire to the yellow opening, which will eventually be feeding the WLED signal to the LEDs. From here, we want to connect the red voltage line coming from our first splice to this one going to the lights. This is what's going to provide the LEDs power. And then take one of our white ground lines and get that connected to the blue ground opening like I'm doing now. So this will leave us with one ground wire and one data line that still need to be connected. Moving on, I'll be using Glidopto's new Elite WLED plug and play controller. This just came out and it has a bunch of different power options, plus it supports both Wi-Fi and Ethernet. Now for this project, I'm only going to need our top output and I'll only be using our data and ground slots. And this is exactly where we'll be connecting our two remaining wires. The green data line will go into the IO16 opening and the white ground wire will go into the GND slot right below. And finally, to power the controller, I'm using a 5 volt 2 amp supply that I had laying around. Now, a big shout out to Handy Dad TV for figuring out the settings and saving me the trial and error, but once you have everything plugged in, go into Configure and WLED Preferences. I'll have my brightness limiter turned on and set to 22200 milliamps. The strip type is SM16825 RGBCW, color order is set to GRB, swap set to none, and because we have six pucks and each puck has three LEDs, length is 18, and GPIO is 16 for the data output that we used on the controller. Hit save and all your lights should be on, but if not, make sure to hit the power button on the Govi controller since that will still let you turn things on and off. And then one quick tutorial for white light control on these is first turn the top slider for color off. The middle slider then controls your dedicated white brightness and then the bottom slider controls the temperature of the white light like you're seeing here. Now what I absolutely love about this method is if you want to switch back to the Govi software to maybe run their scenic dream view, you simply unplug both the splice kits and then connect the controller to the lights and just like that you're back to running Govi. So fast forward to nighttime and I updated my length to 126 and we're good to go. I'll quick do some white light tests and as you can see, they look just as good compared to using the Govi app and everything's working flawlessly. Now I was super excited to see what the unique design of the prism lights could do with WLED animations and it's safe to say I wasn't disappointed. Color Waves is absolutely incredible with the prisms as it creates the stunning effect that reminds me of light reflecting off of a swimming pool at night. So if you're wanting to create the best looking Christmas animations on your block, here's a pro tip. In the colors tab, choose colors only and then fill up your three options above with red and green. Then play around with the different animations and I promise you, these are the best looking Christmas effects I've yet to see. And Cylon Duel is another great one to check out as it creates this overlapping layers of light that works really well with the prisms. Now that about does it for this one, but I'll leave links to everything I talked about in the description, as well as links to episode 1 and 2 of this series that you can check out if interested. Thank you all so much for watching, and as always, I hope you have a blessed day.